In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to print faster, a lot faster. Not with a hack, not with a cheat, just with my profiles modified to print a little faster. How much faster? This functional print took 5 hours and 19 minutes on an Ender 3. This one, same file, 2 hours and 18 minutes. But is it functional? Yeah, works the same, looks the same. 3 hours less, it's amazing. I'll explain it all on today's Film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. In a previous video, I printed this collar at 100% infill using my 0.28 profile, took 1 hour and 48 minutes. Then I showed you how I hacked an Ultimaker machine profile so I could get to their extra fast printing profile and I printed it in 55 minutes. And you guys loved it. But several Cura developers left comments that they didn't like my hack. And I understand but I still wanted to get to a faster profile. And a lot of people made comments that if you just change your minimum print time or you do more walls, there was a lot of suggestions. And I tried all of them. And none of them really did what the hack did. They sped things up, but nowhere near the hack. And then one of the Cure developers, Jamie Van Kessel, was nice enough to take my profile and compare it to the hack and said there's only six things that are really different. But two of them were acceleration and jerk. And these Creality machines limit those. So kind of threw those out so it ended up being four items that he suggested I change and I tried it and he was right it did speed it up I went from one hour and 48 minutes to one hour and one minute but it still didn't meet the 55 minute hack so there was still more to the story but during the conversation one of my viewers Keith Varen chimed in and said I can beat it give me a shot so I said take my profile modify and send it to me I'll try it so he did and it improved things, but it still didn't beat the hack. He says, give me another chance. So he took a little bit of time and sent me an updated one. And lo and behold, he beat the hack. Here is the result. 48 minutes at 100% versus 55 minutes on the hack. So he beat it by quite a bit on a small print. Now, there were a few things I didn't like about it. The way his seam settings were, the top of it needed more overlap. Because I was seeing that there were gaps. So I fixed those. It took a little bit of extra time. But at the end of it, I still had a profile that was far faster than the hack. So it was a great combination. My original profile plus his improvements. I questioned, did he mind that I share those with the audience? And he had no problem. He says, yep, go ahead and share them. I told him I'd send him a Film of Friday toolkit for his troubles. And I appreciate the work that he did. But then I went to work printing different things just to make sure that it worked with all prints, not just this collar. I got this hook that I designed to hang from my shower to hang a brush. I did a YouTube short on it with my 028 profile, 35 minutes, with the extra fast profile, 23 minutes. I designed this filament Friday extruder top mainly to be a little test print. With my CHEP 0.28 profile, 39 minutes, with the extra fast profile, 23 minutes. But this is where I really noticed the overlap issue. His profile wasn't overlapping enough on top, so I made a change to 30% overlap from the 15% he had, and that fixed the problem. Another project I was working on was this little clip that holds the pegboard hooks to the pegboard so they don't pop off when I grab a tool. It only took three minutes to print with my original profile, but a minute and a half with the extra fast. So I put 20 of them on the bed, and it said an hour for my old profile, 33 minutes with the new profile and they came out fine you can't tell the difference really and it's a functional print as long as it works who cares how pretty it is but they look fine so i was able to print 40 of them in the time it would take to print 20 of them with my old profile that was really helpful and while i was doing all my testing it got really interesting that brian vines over at the bv3d channel he did a video where he said you can speed up a print by using a larger extrusion width and he took five hours off a 19 hour print. So he reduced it 19 hours down to 14 hours. And I said, Brian, I have a profile for you, try it. So he actually tried it on that same print. And when he was done, it printed in seven hours and 40 minutes. So he took a 15 hour, sorry, a 19 hour print and printed it in seven hours and 40 minutes. And he said, functionally, it was the same wasn't quite as crisp like on the top, but he said functionally it was all the same. That's a huge savings. After I seen Brian's results, I went back and printed one of these. 
This is a little jar. I got it off a thing of hers. You can put screws in it or nails. And it's nice, but it took five hours and 19 minutes to print. So that's kind of a long time for something so simple when I could just you know, buy some jars or whatever. But I would have liked to have had a lot of these, you know, inside my cabinets for stuff. Well, I can print it in two hours and 18 minutes. So I can actually print two of these with the extra fast profile faster than I can print one with my original. That's where this extra fast profile seems to really shine. If you have a functional print that's bigger, that takes a long time, and you really don't care that it's really crisp and sharp, this can save you a ton of print time and save you some plastic actually in the process. So let's take a closer look of how this is done. Now, five hours and 56 minutes, a little bit longer because I position these a little different, but the extra fast was two hours and 43 minutes. So still a big savings. In fact, he saved like an hour at three different categories to give me three hours savings on the overall print. The first area I saw a difference is in the extrusion width. He did like Brian and made the extrusion width a little bit wider. He changed to a zigzag pattern for the top and bottom layers and took one layer out. He reduced the wall thickness by a slight amount. And as you would expect, he adjusted the speeds, but it really didn't affect my printer because he didn't change acceleration or jerk. So overall, three hours savings just on this one print was just a bunch of small adjustments. Some I didn't even cover because they didn't even seem like would make a difference, but they all add up. So I'll put a link to this in the description below. You can go to thangs.com and download it. Just click download all, you gotta log in, and then you can get the file. And it's gonna be a .3MF file. You open it as a project in Cura, and it's gonna bring the extra fast profile in and automatically add it to your list of profiles. Here's a little print that you can play with, and then if you look, the Filament Friday extra fast profile shows up here in my list of profiles. Now, if you want to try out this profile, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's free to download. Now, it's designed to work with Creality Machine Profiles, so you have to do that just like all my other profiles. So give it a try, and let me know your results in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.